All right, um, bit of a modification I thought of, I'll do on this um, spray gun uh, to paint the car. Um, there's lots of um, good reviews on this gun. Um, I didn't have the. It's only for one job I'm doing this, so I didn't have didn't want to spend too much money on buying an expensive gun. So. Apparently these guns, the Duelius GTI Pro guns, uh, got quite good review on on the internet. So I was going to buy a genuine one. They're like three, four hundred dollars. So I thought, uh, have a look at these fake ones. So I did a bit of research, um, bought two of the fake ones. Um, the main reason I bought two is. Uh, just looking at the review research on the internet, um, the main difference between the two guns is this baffle. I'll show you the difference. Um, um, what I'll do is, how about I show you how it comes like first. So before you take the tip, you just gotta take the take this tip off. So I'll keep on tightening this here a bit. Let's go tighten again. So the fake ones comes with the 1.3 mil tip. I just measured it. It's actually 1.3. Yeah, about 1.3, that's probably right. So, show you the main difference. So, this is a thing called the baffle. As you can see, the two holes are. So, that's the air which goes to these horns, what they call. I'm just still learning. This is my. I never painted a car before in my whole life. This is the first car I'm doing. So, just learning. So it's wishy trident, just put the two K epoxy clay. I spilled the whole paint on the root bonnet when I was painting it. The bloody cup came off in one of those cheap guns. Um, and the epoxy just fell all over the bonnet. So I had to sand the whole thing again. Um, waited nearly a week for it to dry first. Sanded it, being epoxy, just keeps clogging onto the sandpaper. So it's a bit of a Nightmare, and I found a few other spots I missed. So, anyway, first job I'm doing. Um, happy with how the first paint came, uh, the um, epoxy. So, I thought I'll buy a different gun, see how it goes. So, as you can see, the main difference is those two holes. You can see they're quite small, and that's the air which goes to these two sides to get your. Fan, is it called the fan? I think it's a fan, yeah. So that goes the inside holes. So this, as you can see, there's two holes here which comes to these ones, and the one on the top, which is getting onto these holes, coming through that and gets to these two sides ones. So the original one. That was quite big, the unique genuine one of GTA Pro, that one is completely open. And the other difference is that hole was quite deep. Those two holes are connected quite further back. Just looking at a couple of pictures online. So I thought I'll do the same. So I got the little die grinder. Here's my die grinder. Oh, it's over here. So, got a die grinder with this small bit. I bought it on eBay. Um, it's like a little star kind of thing. As you can see, quite good there. So, got that and just went 
on the bench wise but on that side from that side it's kind of dead like that pretty bit of a noise <laughs> and just grinded that and made that like original like the mass see the difference so that made almost like how it should be on the gta pro and also i just grinded that one a little bit back I was trying to connect the two holes together and I reckon if I go a bit more in that's going to open up to the hole where the liquid comes so it must be not connecting in it probably open up a little bit more for the air to just build up a bit more rather than getting turbulent and creating like a bit of venture effect and that's how the fake one was like so we compare the two together there we go. so what i'll do is i'll spray it so i've got two tips i'm gonna run the 1.3 on the clear and the base coat and i'm gonna drill this one with a 1.5 mil tip which i'm still waiting for it to come on ebay where is it Oh no, it's not there. So I'll wait till it comes on eBay and I'll, I'll put on the voice, drill that to 1.7, 1.8, and use that for the um, epoxy primer. So I got, I'll try the two guns and see the difference. Wish I could send this two guns to a professional spray painter and use that T110 cap so when I bought the two guns it comes came up with two caps one was a T20 so these are the fake ones and one is a T110 and they look exactly the same same diameter holes everything's just the same except that that one it's a bit offset, but I don't think it's a problem. So I was thinking to well then that got the defect, so not to use that, try that with the fake one, try that with the modified one with the 1.8. See the difference between the two. And that's the one I'm gonna drill, and then try the two with the uh, 1.3 for the base and the clear and I wish I could send this gun to a professional spray painter um, to see how they feel the difference make improvements so I know gunman is Aussie guy might even ask him whether he can check it out I'll send it to him just to curiosity I don't think I'll be recording this video how I'm gonna spray it because I'll definitely stuff it up being the first job ever done in my life yeah got a few little projects going at the moment about this um, oscilloscope on love it about this clamp maybe to, to check the card um, modifying a little um, Makita receipt so I bought, I think they were like 40 50 bucks. It's going to use a variable speed. And how the hell I'm going to put this in? And I broke the resistor too while I was trying to. So I need to get the resistor for that. Maybe another stuff up. Anyway, um, things you do in your break. um yeah hopefully someone can um can send this to a professional player painter in melbourne in victoria in australia or somewhere in australia and get their genuine real opinion of how the two 
the modified one how that works and the fake one how it comes in the box how it works so watch out all right take it easy guys until the next time peace